So I had a uh, good trade, and I, I scalped the spy today. It was a nice little trade. Uh, and I, I used to come into the days more like, you know, really trying to trade the market. And I was doing really well with it until I wasn't. And then it just kind of seemed like such a big waste of effort. I'm coming in like, you know, tick trading the S&P almost. Mm -hmm. So uh, I kind of switched my gear and my train of thought thinking like, I'll be around, I'll watch the market all day. I'm not going to put on any trades unless I feel like it's like screaming at me mm -hmm. to make this trade. And that's kind of what I got. So uh, today, you know, we see the SPY finally testing the bottom end of this range. Um, didn't get all the way to lows, but uh, 425, 427, some big support. Um, so, you know, obviously the headlines are so bad. You know, Russia, Ukraine, this, that. So uh, uh, Biden comes out to speak about the sanctions he's putting on. And the market's just been selling off all day. So <clears throat> this, I don't have, this isn't what, this wasn't some like, oh, because the sanctions say this, because da, 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 da. This is just pure price action. You know, mm -hmm. we're selling off all day. I made the comment um, into the alpha chat that it's funny that we're seeing stocks sell off on such low volume because buyers aren't stepping up, but we're still seeing that move lower. So it's like, it, it almost seems like the sellers are getting exhausted and we might be ready for a move higher. So then uh, Biden starts speaking and we just see this huge buying volume come into the market. So I get, you know, pretty long, this 427.50, 428 area, um, just against these 426 lows. And it gives us a nice little move. So I'm taking some off into 432. Uh, we make a new high and turn around to get out of more stock. And then once we break this little mini uh, support to the downside, I'm fully out. So that was a nice little scalp I had um, and definitely, uh, change that train of thought to, you know, only if I, only if the market's like begging me to, you know, if we see a huge rinse of that 420 area and then we see a massive buying volume come back again, mm -hmm. that's in the SPY, like that's an area, again, I would look to take some long. But, you know, we're right now, the support and resistance is such a wide range. It doesn't make sense to try to buy and sell every day. Mm -hmm. to me. It's just, it's just, you know, gonna give you a headache and uh, it's just really low probability, really.